Queen, it's Livingston Saturday. What are you expecting from them? Uh, you know, the same type of game as it was on Wednesday. Uh, a little bit of a grind, kind of. Kind of just got to get the result. But I think, uh, I think if we play the way that we play, I think we have a, you know, we have a good chance of uh, winning the game. So. You managed to get yourself back in the, in the starting lineup uh, on Wednesday night after a really strong cameo performance against Hibs. What's it like, especially in your position, the difference between starting matches and then having to be an impact player off the bench? Of course, um, you know, obviously it's a little bit harder when you kind of start because it takes a while to get into the game, kind of builds up. Um, I feel like when I come off the bench, you know, it's I'm kind of that person that kind of you know tries to like light the spark and every time I get it I'm trying to do things you know the opponents are, t are more tired from the whole game and, and it's obviously a lot easier to come in in the last 20 minutes 25 minutes but um, just obviously starting the game is why I came here it's why I uh, why I need to be here why I need to play and uh, that's what I want to do and I just think obviously it's harder to get into the game when you start in kind of stuff, especially games like Wednesday and where it's just you know a lot of long balls and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I still think uh, that I did well. Yeah, yeah. You were talking earlier on about having to learn different parts of the game. Can you can you just expand a little bit on yeah. that and what what you've been trying to learn and how you've tried to change up your game a little bit yeah. from last season? Well, obviously last year I was more of an impact player. You know, the league, the players in the league didn't know much about me, so I would come on and just be as direct as possible. Where you know this year they know more about me. They uh, they obviously watch clips. Uh, they are, they're probably told what to do, how to how to defend me, all that kind of stuff. So. I uh, changed up my game this year because you know last year I was getting a lot of 1v1s. This year it's more like 3v1s and 2v1s, and it's a lot harder for me. So um, you know I've had to adjust and learn how to to play around all that kind of stuff. And obviously with me trying to learn and trying to learn how to do different things, my form obviously dropped. And and obviously I was dropped for it for three or four games. You know that's that's how football is. You know when you're, when you're not playing well, you get dropped. Um, but obviously, I've learned from it, and I'm still I'm still learning how to adjust to all that kind of stuff. I'm watching my games back, trying to learn how to kind of deal with all that kind of stuff. So, um, but like I said, it's just adjusting and learning how to deal with those kind of situations. The manager was, was talking about the, the team trying to move the ball a little bit quicker as well, and, and just in conjunction with maybe you finding yourself with either two players on you or three players on you, is that maybe, if it doesn't give you an opportunity for one and ones it perhaps maybe opens up space elsewhere in the team for other players? Yeah, exactly. And, and like I said, that's what I've been trying to, you know, kind of adjust to. I've been kind of trying to get my head up a little bit more and try to find, the, obviously, the players that are open from the double or triple team or whatever it's on me. Um, but yeah, like I, th I agree with him. I think we do need to move the ball a little bit uh, faster. You know, there's times where we're too slow and we end up panicking. So I just, uh, so yeah, I think if we move it faster, it'll be so much uh, deadlier and so much better. So, but yeah. This is obviously quite a crucial period going into the, the kind of hectic Christmas schedule. We've had some games already, but we've now got two away games back to back, Livingston, Ross County. Would that set us up perfectly for that final Christmas push if we can get good results in these ones? I think so, because obviously the away games are, are harder. You know, you have to go to you know Livingston play on their pitch, which is obviously not the greatest. Um, and then you have to go five and a half hours or four and a half hours, whatever it is, to Ross County, which is a long mental travel. And if we can get you know six points out of those games, it'll do us nicely, because those are probably two of the hardest games I probably have in the year, uh, mentally. And uh, we just really just need to go out there and play the way we play and get six points. When Livingston were here before, we saw we saw we saw that they, they certainly had talent, but also the threat that they pose from set plays, and it's a big part of their game. For for your part in, in both set piece attacking and defending, how big a part of the preparation is that to face a team like Livingston? Obviously, it's massive. Um, obviously, teams that are like Livingston that are very dangerous from set pieces, you have to be very careful with it. You, know, you gotta take your time on the on the training field, and you gotta gotta make sure you really nail them down because you know one mistake with uh with how good they are set pieces could cause you you know the game. Um, like everybody says, set pieces win you trophies, don't they? So you just gotta gotta keep nailing it down. And I I, I think personally we're quite good at set pieces. To be fair, dealing with corners and dealing with everything like that. So I just think I think gotta keep doing what we're doing. 
and just looking ahead both personally and for the team just going into this this December period how what are the key goals for me personally mm. um, for me it's just just to start as many games as possible you know there's a lot of games in December that's how football is you know in the UK it's very hectic and during around the Christmas time um, just to try to get as many games as possible, try to, you know, try to add my numbers again. I need to keep increasing my numbers. I need to keep doing that because right now it's not good enough uh, for me personally. I'm not, I'm not satisfied with my numbers and how many goals, how many assists I have uh, contributed this year. So uh, it's always something I'm trying to work on and I'm trying to get to. Um, yeah, I just think uh, winning games, starting games, scoring goals, getting assists, that's what I'm focusing on this.